what's going on everybody it's your boy motor man dan today we're here to talk about the barricade this one's probably gonna be a long one because we're gonna talk a lot about the barricade and by a lot i mean we're gonna cover some really cool ideas for barricading around different maps and stuff just some some stuff that you can kind of take away from it um barricades are very unique they're, they're the only one that do what they do but let's just go through what we normally go through and talk about what you see on the screen barricades use the block paths and change the enemy's route to the rift you have to uh, place 15 barricades in order to complete it. You unlock it right before split stairs. I don't remember the map for it, but um, right before you start split stairs, you unlock them. Hint, hint, it's probably the best time to use them is, is on split stairs. They do wonders. Um, level upgrades. Increase health and reduce cost. Uh, reduce cost uh, three times. You have the unique upgrades. You have reduced collateral damage taken, and you have barricades blocked two spaces, but you have an increased cost. Okay, let's go ahead and hop into the game files and take a look at what it shows. So, in the attributes of uh, the barricades, there's nothing. Uh, so, it's, it's, yeah, there's nothing there. However, in the trap process, we have a lot. We have a lot to unpack. Um, so, obviously, it, you know, it's passive. It doesn't target anything. It doesn't do, it doesn't do any damage. Um, there's no cooldowns or anything. It does cost 800. Base price costs 800, okay? It has a base health of a 100, and the collateral damage value is 18. Now, I don't know exactly what that means um if it's like it was like 18 flat damage or or it can't be 18 flat damage maybe 18 percent of like the the full damage uh or something i, I really don't know what that value is but uh, it does get modified with one of the upgrades so we'll take a look at that um for what it is uh and here we have yes yeah, so it shows you that it's unlocked uh like i said at, at that point um so the upgrades, let's talk about those. We have the um, level upgrades. So for the trap, for the barricade, um, it has in, uh, increased health and reduced cost. So it increases the health by 50 and reduces the cost by 50. Okay. And then the next one is uh, coin value minus 50, health value plus 50. And the next one is coin value minus 100, health value plus 50. Uh, so that's all shown here on the wiki page. So you have, um, so it goes up to 150, 200, and 250 health, and then the coin takes it uh, down to 7, 50, 7, and 600. Uh, so uh, that's for the singles. Okay. Uh, then we've got the reduced collateral damage taken. Now this uh, reduces the collateral damage by a value of 6. Now we saw that the value was 18, up here for the collateral damage, which means you're reducing it essentially by 33% because it takes this 18 uh, down to 12 um, from whatever 18 means exactly. We do, I don't know, but it does take it down to 12. So you're reducing it by 33% of the damage taken, um, which is pretty admirable. I mean, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, and then the other one is uh, barricades block two spaces. And we can see here that the, uh, uh, modify coin value is positive 400 so it takes it from if you have all of the level upgrades down to 600 it's going to take it up to a thousand uh, so a thousand for a double barricade um, when it comes to whether or not I use single and double it is very very situational most of the time I th I think most of the time I would say I use double single. I don't know man it's way too situational there's there's plenty of places where you would put three singles and that would be cheaper than two doubles but you'd have to do it like three times in order to save yourself the cost of a barricade and so it really really depends on what i'm trying to get with my barricades i think it's safer to go with the reduced collateral um but it, it, it's 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 I don't know, man. It, it, it's tough, but we're gonna. I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to kind of save a little bit of money if you go reduce collateral, um, or or even if you go the, the double spaces. I mean, something like aqueducts, I would go double spaces. Um, something like coastal hallways, I go. I would go reduce collateral um, for the reason that there's a sappers, b there's fire elementals, fire links, could blow up cades, um, and c because I think it's just it, you can save money a little bit more money than using doubles. But we'll take we'll take a look at that later on. Um, Okay, so for this, there's going to be a lot of things that I want to cover as far as uh, what your barricades can end up looking like um, for uh, for how you route enemies and how you can use barricades to route enemies. So sit back, strap in, and we are going to 
go over some content. All right, guys, here I wanted to showcase CypherX. Uh, here's his channel right here, CypherX Plays. Um, he's playing the Basement Endless on, on uh, solo, and he gets to wave 50 here. Um, I just want to show you one of the intricacies of barricading, kind of how you can use it uh, to your advantage, especially on a difficult map that's endless like uh, the Basement. It, it, it's definitely a little bit tough, um, but here it is. So he's, he's over here on the right-hand side on the map, right, the east-hand side, and he's got those enemies going up, and they're gonna go, they're gonna take this, this, this inside path towards the rift, it's gonna be the closest path towards the rift, everything else has to kind of come up and around to get, to, to get around here, so if you look at my, uh, cursor on the top right corner, they're going across where he is, and then they're gonna go down and go over the flip traps and into the rift. Now, everything on the left-hand side, um, they have to go, uh, up and around to get around to the side as well, um, but a lot of things are going to be getting flipped downstairs. And that's kind of the idea with this, is, is the barricades are, are, are acting as a uh, barrier in the middle. Oops. And everything is going to get flipped downstairs, and they're going to have to run back upstairs uh, where they have a kill box waiting for them uh, to, be, to be killed. So uh, you'll see here he, he uses a string of barricades. Now, normally you'd be like, well, why wouldn't you just use double Ks? And in this, in this instance, uh, yeah, maybe you would, maybe you would. Um, but, you know, double kids are, are weak, and, and if a sapper hits them, you know, at, at a certain point, the single kids are going to get one shot by sappers anyways, and there are sappers on this map. Um, but, I mean, something really intricate like this, and then when they come back up, see, they, they have to go down and, and go back up and around more flips to get potentially flipped over a second time, um, and then have to go right back up into the kill box again. And so, you know, barricades... Uh, barricades are a good way to get enemies to go back and forth uh, and certainly struggle with that. All right, let me bring up another video uh, showcasing a little bit more of the power of the Cade. All right, guys, as always, I like to look at other people's content and just kind of see what they're doing and, and you know, um, and just take a look at it. So here we have uh, Not The Winner Gaming, who is playing Coliseum on, I believe, War Mage. And here's what their barricades look like. Uh, so they are trying to send all of the enemies uh, that come from the, the, the downstairs area. They're going to come up, and it's on the right-hand side here. They're going to come up this way. They're going to go all the way down towards that, that curve and then and around and back up to the other side. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. Now, with this map specifically... You can see uh, up here, these enemies that come up from the stairs, they actually double back, and they're going to do that several times. Uh, they're going to clump up. You can see them on the mini-map there. They're just, they're, just, they're just massively clumping up here, and eventually they'll, they'll make it through. And, and there's a couple of maps that do this uh, where the enemies uh, will keep rerouting into it, and we're going to take a look at one more, which is called Dragon Boneyard, and it's the notoriously bad... Uh, with specific barricading that that it happens on um and you know he's making them go really really long route maybe not the best for part time but uh you know if something like endless this is exactly what you would want to do you would want to build your barricades very similarly to this and have them go all the way around to the outside and of course use flip traps obviously but um uh but you'd be able to barricade like that so super super strong barricading uh skills here you know blocking off the interest is making the map much, much longer, and that increases the efficiency of all of your traps, uh, especially whenever they clump up and, and uh, st stand around in one area. Uh, anything doing damage into that area is going to be amplified in its efficiency by a lot, so barricades are very good at that. Okay, we're going to take a look at one more situation where you would use barricades that also cause pathing problems, but just as an inspiration for you guys to figure out what you want to do with it. All right, guys, and this is the last one. This is, of course, uh, shameless self plug. Let me Dan TD here. Um, so this one, uh, this is Dragon Boneyard, and this is one of the the biggest. Um, this is one of the biggest, like uh, I don't know, uh, issues with barricading. Sometimes is that you're going to have enemies uh, clump up. So all of the enemies from the top, they're going to come down, and half of them are going to go right, half of them are going to go left. The ones that go left have a checkpoint right above the bridge. Okay, so they go there. 
and then they have to figure out, okay, can I, where can I move? And then, uh, or, or I think it's on the bridge or something. Um, and then they're going to go back up and then they're going to say, wait a second, maybe I can go past the bridge. And so they're going to go down past the bridge and they're going to see that. And they're going to be, ah, you know what? And they're going to go to this little room here where they're all, you know, like this little open area and they're all going to go back up and they can say, ah, uh, you know what? Maybe I can go down there. So they're going to go down to the room and then they're going to go back up. So three times, some of the enemies are going to go three times on this left-hand side when all the barricading forces them to the right because of their checkpoints. Um, so that's one of the things that you can use for barricades. Uh, and I said this was going to be the last one. We're actually going to take a look at another uh, place to use barricades as well. Um, but that's one of the ways you use barricades to your advantage uh, is to force them to reroute a bunch of different times. Uh, it can make it take a while, and it's a little bit frustrating, but um, that's just something to note. It's when you barricade, think, I'm the enemy. How can I get to the rift? And if you can put barricades in my way, do it. Because that's going to help your kill box and help your barricading. Okay, let's take a look at one more area where you're going to use barricades. Uh, and this is going to be a, about sappers. Specifically, sappers is what we're going to cover in targeting barricades. All right, guys. And this is the last video we're going to look at. It's another one of mine. Um, it's actually the same video uh, as the last one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so here... Uh, what you see is very minimal barricades. So I kept an open floor plan for my kill box. I didn't want to use barricades because we have sappers and um, uh, fire elementals. And I know what you're saying. How do you protect the cades on the left-hand side? So you see the ones on the left, you know, they're, they're bright orange, which means they're on the same, same elevation. They're upstairs. So I have them at the top of the stairs. Sappers and firelings do not like stairs. Uh, for the most part. Uh, so they work on many, many maps... I think there's like one or two that it doesn't work on, but it works on this one. You can see the sappers right now. There's little yellow dots. You saw them. They went and they checked. They saw those barricades. They're like, I can't go that way. There's barricades in the way. You know, forget what my job is to destroy them. I can't go up the stairs. So then they're going to go around through the kill box. Um, and it happens with firelings as well. Uh, you know, they won't, they won't target kids on top of the stairs. So you can use it. Uh, it's really effective on this map. It's really effective on split stairs. You can choose one side or the other. You barricade at the bottom of the stairs. You got to take care of the sappers. Top of the stairs, you don't. That's the key. Uh, and then also on quick pads. Uh, if you barricade at the top of either of the two staircases, uh, then they'll be then they won't target those and they'll have to they'll they'll try and run all the way around to target the cades at the top of the stairs from the back end, not the front end. Why that is, I don't know, but that's the thing. So use that to your advantage. If you're having a hard time with it, just close off one side. But if you're gonna close it off, do it at the top of the stairs, not at the bottom of the stairs. All right. Cool. Uh, that being said, uh, there's one more thing I want to show you guys. I'm going to jump into a game, and uh, so there's no more videos to watch, but I will jump into a game, and I'll show you guys one more trick with the barricades. I think there's one more trick. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll cover a couple of things. I'll see if I can come up with anything else. All right, cool. All right, guys. Something else I wanted to cover is the barricading uh, cost efficiency. So here I have three single barricades and I have them cornered into this barricade and this barricade. What this is essentially forces them to walk outside of this entire thing, um, which can be done by doubles, but for this, you would typically run three doubles if you wanted to achieve this. You'd have to, right? One horizontal, one horizontal, one vertical. Of course, you could do another, another stretch out there uh, for this one here to be a double. So as far as barricade uh, cost efficiency goes, this is probably a really good way to do it. Just do a little spider shape. Um, but whenever you start doing long hallways of barricades, is when you want to switch over to doubles, if that's the thing that you're going to be doing. Um, and you can see the same thing over here, right? And if we wanted to even take it one step farther, uh, what we could do is like this, and then you could just double up on this side, right? And that's still cheaper than doing double cades. If you're having a co-op partner, I would recommend one of you bring singles, one bring doubles, and every time you can uh, replace two bar two single barricades next to each other, if you're the person who has the doubles, sell them, replace them with a the double, save a little bit of cash overall. Um, I I can't think of anything else in the barricades, but I uh, about the barricades, but I do know that there's plenty of people out there. Behemoth is one of them um, that does a lot of stuff with barricading, and uh, people on the Endless uh, channel as well. From time to time, you may find a situation where you're able to, to essentially, like, barricade off, like, a whole entrance. Um, and enemies will, like, get stuck somewhere. They won't know how to path them to the rift, but they don't think that the rift is, um, you know, blocked off or something. And so they'll just end up 
not doing anything and despawning. There's there's ways to do that, um, sort of. So, uh, yeah, barricades are definitely a thing to test around with. Uh, use it to your advantage. You know, you try, try, try everything that you can. Um, when I play this map on Endless, sometimes I'll actually barricade up here at the top of the stairs and then barricade around the rift. You know, that's definitely something to do. Uh, barricading on switchbacks is a lot of fun as well if you want a map to test uh, barricading out on. You know, try barricading around the rift on switchbacks, and you'll thank me later. All right, guys, that's probably all I have for barricades. I, I, I just can't think of anything else. If I do, I'll throw it in right here, but I but I may not. So, as always, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, follow, share, stream on both YouTube and Twitch, and I'll see you on the flip side. Deuces.